celebration week. <laughs> Welcome back to Everyday's Movie Ever. My name is Justin. I'm watching Everyday's Movie Ever. Today I'm going to talk about Not Quite Human 2. It is Celebration Week in Celebration Month. Celebration Week means you're getting a video every single day until the 29th and in reality the 30th because the 30th is a Friday and we're back to the normal schedule. So really you're getting a week and a half straight of videos. Are you pumped? Because I'm pumped. Yesterday we had the behind the scenes of the entire celebration. If you didn't watch it please check it out. Also be sure to enter the giveaway because... Who doesn't want Little Mermaid items? Am I right? Am I right? I'm right. Great. We are starting off this week strong with Not Quite Human 2. There are a couple movies this celebration week that will not have guests. This is one, tomorrow is another, and then The Little Mermaid is the third. The rest of the videos will have guests. Please excuse me, it's way past my lunchtime and this is the only thing my mom left in her house before she went on her trip, so. Wow. So good. Not Quite Human 2 is a 1989 Magic World of Disney television release. It is written and directed by Eric Luke. Cinematography by Jules Renner. Editing by David Bertlatsky. And the music is by Michelle Rubini. Eric Luke is best known for Explorers, Still Not Quite Human, and this. Jules Renner is best known for The Return of the Living Dead, Up in Smoke, Johnny Got His Gun, and She, Security Hazards Expert. David Bertlatsky is best known for The Deep, The Farmer, Star Trek The Next Generation, and King. Michelle Rubini is best known for Manhunter, Hollywood Homicide, Deadly Nightmares, and Nemesis. The film stars Jay Underwood, Robin Lively, Alan Thick Day, Young Katie Barbary, and Greg Mullally. Jay, Robin, and Alan play Chip, Becky, and Dr. Jonas, and I covered all of them in the video about Not Quite Human. The link will be in the description. Day Young plays Professor Victoria Gray, and she's best known for Pretty Woman, Rock and Roll High School, Spaceballs, and Star Trek The Next Generation. Katie Barbary plays Roberta, and she's best known for My Heart Beats for Lola Vulcan, The Garbage Pail Kids movie, Every Which Way, and El Fantasma de Elena. Greg Malavy, word, had it underlined like it was incorrect. So I thought the V was another Y, so I said Malayi, or Malayi, or whatever I said when I first said his name, but it's Malavi. I'm sorry. Greg Malavi plays Dr. Phil Masters, and he's best known for Mary Hartman, Centennial, Magnum P.I., and The Bold and the Beautiful. Okay, so obviously this film is a sequel to Not Quite Human. Not Quite Human, we have watched, we have covered, and let me just say, as a little recap, Maybe link in the description in case. That movie I enjoyed, but I thought moved kind of slow. This movie might be a hot take opinion, but I think this is better than the first one. Not Quite Human 2 focuses on Chip going to college. He's graduated high school and he wants to go to college. He really wants to be a human and have a human experience, but his dad and his sister are a little bit being helicoptery because they're really nervous about him being normal at school or forgetting to do something and taking care of himself. So they stalk him the whole movie, basically. There's android love. There's drama about him getting his software wiped with a virus. It was really intense. And I just, I was so attached to Chip in this film because... He was already set up. I already spent a movie with him, so the opening scene I thought was so funny. There were a lot of subtle jokes in this one. They had a lot more fun with this one. They were a lot more at home with their characters. I just feel like everyone clicked in this one so much better. This film moved infinitely faster than the first one, and I think that's because they didn't have to do any setting up. It's a sequel. All the backstory you need is in the first one, which is what hindered it and made it kind of slow, where this one, you know he's an android, you know how he was made, you know what they've dealt with, and now they don't have to tell you a backstory. He just gets to be an android in all these situations and environments, and it's a lot better of a story. He has this whole situation going on where he accepted a virus on accident, so the virus is slowly killing him over the course of two to five days? I don't remember if it was two days or five days. And at the same time, he meets another android that has been built named Roberta. I called Roberta being an android the second she walked on screen, and it's supposed to be like some big surprise, but I called it the second she walked on screen. I was like, she's an android, totally, 100%. And 
they like fall in love kind of and it's so cute and yet they have to like save her because her battery is way less than his and every time she runs out of battery her memory and system gets reset instead of keeping everything so there were a lot of like stakes and things going on in this film i thought jay underwood looked better in this movie i think he looks nice i really enjoyed this movie i got so emotional i was so attached to chip I didn't cry, there is no cry count, but I really enjoyed this movie and I'm kind of super looking forward to the third one. I hope the third one's really good because this one kind of, uh, this one kind of got me. So I'm hoping the third one's good. It's written and directed by the same person who did this one, so fingers crossed. Sorry for that tiny little rant about Not Quite Human 2, but I really enjoyed it. So I think I'm gonna give it like a, I almost said seven. I kind of want to give it a seven. I'm feeling generous. I think I'm feeling a little generous. I'm excited. It's celebration week. I think I'm gonna give it seven androids out of ten. Our total movie count is Parentato and Crackhound are still the same. If you want to keep up with what movie I'm watching when, follow me on Instagram or Twitter. You'll find out what movie I'm watching when. I put out videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, but a week straight for celebration week. It is celebration week. If you haven't entered the giveaway, you still have time to do so. Go and do that. If you haven't watched the behind the scenes or ranking the Disney classics, go watch those. They're so fun. I am having so much fun. I hope you guys are. I hope you're really excited for the week. Straight of videos, week and a half straight of videos, really, if we're being technical. I cannot wait for the 300th. I cannot wait for the anniversary video until tomorrow. Comment, like, and subscribe, and I'm not sure if you are, so you do. And don't be Dr. Phil Masters about it. <laughs>